so sometime after so sometime last week I want to say maybe the day before Christmas Eve my debit card was stolen at first I thought I lost it but I mean I keep that on me at all times I always know where it is it's very unlike me to misplace it or to lose it um, I'm pretty sure it was stolen so I had to go through the hassle of getting it blocked and then canceled and luckily I had all of my bills paid and all of my well most of my Christmas shopping done before this uh, situation took place so now I'm in a hustle to try and get a new one mailed out to me and get cash out but I totally forgot the banks were closed today the day after Christmas but it's okay it's really not a big deal I'm more peeved at the fact that it was stolen and even if I dropped it somewhere and somebody picked it up and kept it it's still considered it, it's it's still considered stolen but I had it blocked immediately so I do have money I do have cash I just can't access it right now which sucks because Jaina has an appointment later to go get her cast and I think we still may be okay regardless but I can't really do anything about the bank until tomorrow so there's that but we did have a really good Christmas kids got spoiled got tons of stuff they wanted I, I got a few surprises myself even though people are gonna tell me that I should have called the bank first and I should have but I looked online as most of us do and it was listed that their operating hours were uh, normal today but I got up here and there was a sign that they were closed today and I'm like okay wait a minute so I drove up all the way up here for no freaking apparent reason wasting gas that I that I'm gonna need later so there's that don't mind my messy counter right now but Jaina got like a really bad camera for Christmas Santa found it at a really good deal so Santa picked it up it's a Canon PowerShot SX40 and this little toy is amazing um, I'm actually kind of sort of jealous but it's got dual view to turn it on you can flip the screen around see so flip it around for first person shots you can I mean it's amazing the zoom on this thing is incredible um, the battery compartment and SD compartment at the bottom at the bottom you flip it up Santa also remembered to buy some SD cards so that was pretty sweet. But Jaina has been begging to learn how to do videos for a while. And after some careful consideration with certain rules and restrictions she's going to have to follow. Not only because of her age, but because of kind of a mom I am. Um, we agreed to give it a shot. So I told Santa to pick up a cool little camera and she actually has some tripods somewhere too that's laying around that she hasn't even opened yet. You got them? Yep. You in? Mm-hmm. All right.
Just here, give me that. I'll bring it in. Okay. Go check in, and I'll park the car. What do I say? Just tell him that you're checking in, and I'm parking the car, and I'll be there with you in a second. Okay. You got it, babe. Yep. All right. I'll be there in just a second. All right. I promise you it's not as bad as you think it might be. Well, what color pass do you want? I can pick a color. Yeah. There's pink, red, light blue, green, orange. Let's see what that is. Black. What should I like? Ooh, ooh, ah, ooh. Does it hurt? No, I'm just really nervous. Just nervous? Okay. Yeah, it's, it's not going to be nervous. bad, sweetie. It's not. Oh my lord. They they took really good care of you. I promise you it's oh, not going to be ugly. It's not going to be bad. <laughs> it's going to be Let's it's hope. <laughs> what color? Uh, <laughs> you want blue? Let's focus over here. <laughs> Let's get green to match your hair. You want green? Oh, sure. Okay. Let's get green to match all this. Look up. Oh, that Ooh. swelling's gone down there. Look at that, baby. Oh. And that's where the surgeon signed your leg. <laughs> oh, I can't, I can't bear to look. Hey, oh. it's not going to be bad. It's not going to be bad. I know, honey. but I'm just scared to see whether there's stitches or whatever that thing you call it. Mm -hmm. So far, it's looking really nice. It's really <laughs> they clean. They really bandaged, bandaged me up. Well, yeah. they had to. Yeah. They had to, baby cakes. You pull off. Cut. Yeah. So I thought. Yeah, they they bounded it, it pretty good. <laughs> oh, I'm scared. That's I don't, not. I don't want to look. Well, I'll look for you. Oh, it's not bad, sweetie. You got stitches, but it's not bad. See, <laughs> see? that's all look markers. <laughs> see, all that's that. just markers. See, <laughs> all right, it's not bad, for sweetness. Me. There you go. Oh. It, it's probably going to be sore without oh. all of the support on it. Does it hurt? Yeah, it's probably yes. going to be sore. Okay, hang on. Just hang on, give it a minute. Oh. So now we're just taking her to x-ray. See how well it's come along before they put the cast on. So how does it feel without all the stuff on it? Does it feel weird? Yeah. I imagine it's pretty tender. Oh, you're right, baby. I promise you. It'll feel so much better with the cast on. I promise you. I can barely move my foot. I can't move it at all. I know. Uh -huh. But it's going to look so... It's going to feel so much better with the cast on. Those are all the stitches. And it's not... It look, I mean, it's still swollen, but most of what you see is actually from the marker they used. And the stitches. It's not as bad as she thought. And up here is where they actually, where the surgeon kind of autographed her, her leg, which is pretty cool. Uh, it's, we're gonna, it's for a school field trip. Okay. We're, go, we're gonna go on the ghost walk. It's, it, it, you get to see all the orbs. You're about to prison. It's a four day trip. They're gonna go to Three day. A three day trip. They're gonna go do everything possible there to do. <laughs> Oh, that's you go to the aquarium. I think that's on your yeah. list, the aquarium. Why is it what? Because that starts the process for the little activator. Ooh. So it heals it's and dries so, up faster. It's so freaking warm. It'll oh, it's going to get warmer. <laughs> okay, keep tugging up to you. There you go. Keep your foot up, baby. There you go. Yeah, we're a little concerned because her trip is in March. And she might might still be in her boot by March. Yeah, probably will be, just for the distance you have to walk. Right. Well, I... Because there's a lot of walking if you're in Charleston. Will I be out... When will I be out of the boot? That's up to you. Depends on how you feel. You get to choose that part. I mean, we will take precautions. I don't know. Oh. So keep tugging. So it's up to how you feel at that point. Okay. I probably would keep this just to go on the safe side so you don't re-injure anything. Okay. 
the cobblestone streets and the rest. Yeah. You'll probably want it for a little bit while you're down there, just for no other reason than to be comfortable. <laughs> So when next month, like? One month from now, four weeks. So January 26th. It's the day after dad's birthday. Yeah, the day after dad's birthday. <laughs> he won't be able to call me Gimples anymore. <laughs> or Wobbles. Or Tiny Tim. He'll still Tim. call you Wobbles. <laughs> Tiny he'll call Tim. You, he'll call me Tiny Tim. <laughs> that was nice. Do you call him Ebenezer? Yes, and Scrooge. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they, those two go back and forth all the time. It's pretty hilarious. <laughs> I can't walk right and he can't hear. So we both have problems. He actually blew out. Oh, it's so funny because he actually blew he out. Sneezed he sneezed too hard and he, he, he ruptured his eardrum. Oh, wow. <laughs> he go back and forth. It's, 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 it's amazing. That's quite the sneeze. <laughs> Can I touch it? Why do you want to touch it? I don't know. I want to touch it. Ooh. <laughs> it's, it's, it's so nice and warm. It's Oh, it's warm. Oh, Ooh, it's getting sticky. Ooh, that's warm. It's gonna dry. It's getting sticky. <laughs> so in about a month, she's gonna come back and get the cast off and then get a boot on. I'm gonna finally be and able then, to walk. After the boot, it's gonna be pretty much on her terms and how she feels and how it's healing. Um, she has a trip coming up. March. In March for Charleston. It's a three day trip, it's, it's a class trip. So this is kind of pressing time. Um, we will take precautions during the trip. That's 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 still a little ways down the road. But right now we're just trying to get her leg healed, and we're not rushing it at all. So we're just letting her move it on her own terms is really what it is. And the X-ray came out perfectly fine. It's healing just fine, and it's really cool because you can see um, the screw show up on the x-ray and she was actually freaking out when they took off the bandages and the brace but it's healing up nicely and it's not as disgusting as she thought it would be she thought it was going to be a whole tore up mess it's actually pretty neat it's like a cross stitching with yeah. blue marker yeah it's like a cross stitching <laughs> yeah yeah exactly it's blue my favorite color. It looks like it's like a cross, but they had to open up her leg and stick the screw in. Two that and then two lines. Yeah, it's pretty cool actually. I just finished filming Kara's DNA results video. She had a DNA test taken through Ancestry.com about the same time Lucy did. Um, she just got hers back. I'm going to post that video after I post this because there's something, uh, there's a few things I really want to explain. <laughs> Kara is, um, for legal and genetic terms, my stepdaughter, she's Annie and Lucy's and Jaina's half-sister. Um, we've never denied her as a family member, never denied her as a daughter, never denied her as a sister. It's just, for the test, this is what it is for, uh, people who have questions and want, who are wondering and stuff. So, she knows nothing about her maternal side. I know a little bit because I know some of the surnames and I know the location and where they're from. I don't know a whole lot, unfortunately. Kara has been without her biological mother since she was two or three years old, I believe, and somewhere around there. It's very, it's, it, it, it's been a while since Kara's now in her 20s. So, um, there's a lot of confusion, a lot of questions that need to be answered. Um, and she had doubts as to whether she was actually her father's daughter because her mom wasn't uh, loyal to, you know, just to be nice about it. Um, so her test came back the other day. It listed her under Jaina and Lucy's matches. I was excited. I mean, I never had doubts, but it was just nice to see that match come up. So I'm going to have that video uploaded after this video. Hope you guys are having a fabulous day. I hope you guys had a lovely holiday. We did too. We had a fantastic holiday. Um, 
I got a, I got a house to finish clean and kids to put to bed in a little while. But I will see you guys later. Um, don't forget to watch the next video. I'm going to compare half-sibling DNA results. And um, I'll see you guys then. Peace out. Bye.